Welcome to Investing Path, where the road to understanding the financial intricacies of everyday life is just a play button away. Today, let's unwrap a retail enigma that defies the norms of economic gravity. Imagine this, a national brand that not only survives but thrives in the heart of a 367-person town. This isn't just any brand, but Dollar General, standing proudly as the sole nationwide chain in Faith, South Dakota. This small, almost map-blurring town, devoid of traffic lights and bursting with prairie charm, boasts a few local joints and shops, but no national chains, save for this one store. Strangely enough, the phenomenon of Dollar General's presence in Faith isn't a one-off case. It's a pattern replicated across America in towns where population counts barely reach the thousands. Dollar General is that rare breed of national retailer daring to plant its roots where others see barren soil. While Walmart caters to the thousands, Dollar General courts the hundreds and does so with staggering success. But how? Well, this retailer has rewritten the playbook for thriving in rural America. Each store operates with a lean staff of 6 to 10, with just a handful on the clock at any given time. With wages and operating hours factored in, the daily staffing cost can be as low as a few hundred dollars. Add to this their simplified product range. While Walmart might dazzle with 140,000 unique items, Dollar General narrows it down to around 10,000. This isn't about limiting choice, it's about strategic simplification. They aim to be your neighborhood Walmart, without the overwhelming aisles of options. Dollar General wields a unique advantage. It doesn't need to be the definitive one-stop shop, it just needs to be the only shop. This leverage is their secret sauce, giving them the power to negotiate hard with suppliers. They can offer that one brand of laundry detergent and know that it's the one people will buy, because it's the only one available. But here's a twist. Even with its limited selection, Dollar General isn't always the cheapest option. Take the example of their $1 Tide brand detergent. It's more expensive per load compared to Walmart's bulk offerings. Yet it's the choice for those who are financially constrained, preferring to allocate their resources to immediate needs rather than bulk savings. This customer will return sooner for a refill, leading to a constant flow of sales for Dollar General. Now, if you're finding this dive into the strategic prowess of Dollar General fascinating, consider subscribing to Investing Path for more insights like this. We unravel the complex webs of the business and financial worlds in every video. Let's pivot to another pivotal point. Location. Dollar General's choice locales come with low overheads, maintaining their low-cost business model. This is how they anchor themselves in areas where other retailers fear to tread. In places like Haven, Kansas, without a local grocery store, Dollar General fills a critical void. By offering basic necessities, they become the community's lifeline for daily essentials. This pattern is not confined to the rural landscape. Urban centers like Atlanta, Georgia, are witnessing a surge of dollar stores filling the gaps left by the absence of traditional supermarkets. It's a scenario that unfolds across cities, where the least mobile and the least affluent are also the most underserved by the supermarket industry. Dollar stores are stepping into these urban food deserts, serving as a crucial source of affordable food and supplies. But the implications of dollar stores' rise are complex. While they address an immediate need, they also highlight a deeper issue within our urban landscapes. The persistence of areas neglected by larger retail chains, a phenomenon that harkens back to historical practices like redlining. The company's distribution centers are strategically placed to serve a cluster of stores, ensuring a steady and efficient supply chain. This means reduced transportation costs and a nimble response to inventory demands. Their stock management system is tailored to predict and adapt to buying patterns specific to each store's local customer base, which can vary significantly from the national norm. This hyperlocal approach to inventory ensures shelves are stocked with goods that resonate with the local community's needs and preferences. In fact, Dollar General's approach can be seen as a modern incarnation of the classic general store, with an array of necessities from food to hardware. This variety is crucial. In these small towns, when you buy a roll of duct tape, a carton of eggs, and a birthday card from Dollar General, you're engaging in an act of convenience that other retailers can't match without the same local presence. Another layer to this economic fabric is the reality of transportation in rural areas. 
In places where the nearest Walmart might be an hour's drive away, the value of having a nearby store cannot be overstated. For many, the transportation cost saved outweighs any price difference on the shelves. Dollar General taps into this reality, anchoring their value proposition not just in pricing, but in accessibility. Their business model also has ripple effects on local employment. Dollar General stores create jobs and, in many cases, become one of the primary employers in these small towns. While the pay may not compete with larger urban centers, employment at Dollar General provides crucial income for families in areas where job opportunities are often scarce. The social role of Dollar General stores extends beyond mere retail. In many of these communities, the store becomes a communal hub akin to the town square of yesteryear. It's where people catch up on local happenings, bond over shared experiences, and maintain social cohesion. This social dimension might be intangible on a balance sheet, but it's invaluable in sustaining the store's patronage and loyalty. Yet, the expansion of Dollar General and similar chains raises questions about the sustainability of such growth. Critics argue that while they fill a need, they can also stifle local competition. Small, independent businesses sometimes struggle to compete with the pricing power of a national chain, potentially leading to a decrease in local entrepreneurship and variety. This concern requires a delicate balance between serving immediate consumer needs and nurturing a diverse, vibrant local economy. In urban areas, the dollar store's role is equally complex. They provide access to basic goods where supermarkets are absent yet they rarely offer the fresh produce and variety essential for a balanced diet. The result can be a bittersweet solution to food scarcity, a stopgap that doesn't fully close the nutritional gap. In conclusion, the saga of Dollar General and its counterparts is a fascinating tale of strategic adaptation, localized service, and economic impact. It teaches us a fundamental lesson. In business, as in life, context is everything. What works in a metropolis may falter in the countryside, and vice versa. By understanding and embracing the nuances of their context, Dollar General has not just survived, it has flourished. To our Investing Path community, thank you for tuning in to this in-depth analysis. We strive to bring you perspectives that challenge and enlighten your economic understanding. If you've enjoyed this journey into the heart of rural retail strategy, like this video, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more insightful journeys. Join us next time as we untangle another web in the vast world of economics, providing you with the map and compass to navigate through the complexities of investing and market strategies. Until then, remember, knowledge is the currency of today's world, and Investing Path is here to enrich your financial future.